I'm excited that you joined me today here at Covenant Keepers Ministries. I'm Les Potts, and we're discussing God revealing, revealing Himself to us through His name. This is a, a video today you want to share with your friends who may not know Jesus Christ. We're going to tell them how to, to enter a covenant relationship with God and the promise God gives to us as a part of that covenant relationship. So it's it's Wednesday, September 4th, 2019, and and it's a great day for us to examine what God says in His Word. We're in Exodus at chapter 3, and verse 14, and God said to Moses, I am who I am. And He said, Thus you shall say to the children of Israel, I am has sent me to you. So today we're attempting to point out our need, the need we have to see ourselves in a covenant relationship with God. Remember, we've already talked about this is the God who's El Elohim, God Creator, and El Shaddai, the Lord God Almighty. Obviously, we're using Scripture to point out this need that we have to understand the covenant relationship we need to have with God. For those who do not believe in the inerrancy of the Scriptures, this may sound like foolishness. But to those of us who base our values on Scripture, we rely on it to reveal to us the nature of God and what God demands and expects of us. So let's Let's read some scriptures that help us understand why we need to be in covenant relationship with God and what that covenant relationship promises to us. So in John 16, verse 7, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. Jesus was speaking this of the Holy Spirit. In 2 Corinthians 12, or excuse me, 1, Verse 22, who also has sealed us and given us the Spirit in our hearts as a deposit. Wow. Ephesians 1.13, it says, In him you also trusted, after you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, having believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Now what these three different verses that I've read out of John, 2 Corinthians, and Ephesians relate to us, or describe to us, is the seal of the Holy Spirit to those who turn from their sin and trust in Christ as the only means of salvation. The covenant between God and man is sealed for us by the deposit of the Holy Spirit into our hearts. The Spirit of God then bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God and have children than heirs, joint heirs with Jesus Christ. So this is extremely important for us. When we repent of our sin, that is we turn from it and we go after God and we put our trust in Jesus Christ for our salvation, we enter a covenant relationship which God has determined we need to have assurance of. So God's saying, I promise that I want to be in a covenant relationship with you, but to give you an assurance that this is what I really mean, I'm going to send you the Holy Spirit to indwell you, to assure you that your trust in me for your salvation is well-founded. Well, just think through that for a moment. When I repent of my sin as a human being, one that's important to God, one that he loves so much, even while I have rebelled and sinned against him, when I repent of that, when I confess that, God, you're right, this is wrong, and I need to stop doing it, and I turn to him and trust him that by believing in him, by trusting him, by putting my faith in him, he removes all my sin, and he gives me a seal of the covenant relationship that he and I have just entered. Now, I know the difficulty with this today is it is it's hard for us to experience because we we are for some reason in our culture not not desirous of long-term commitments or agreements to anyone. We have become familiar with what I would call a disposable way of life. We find that true in relationships in our culture. They can either be rearranged or discarded at the slightest whim. 
The God we serve is a God of covenant, and he chooses to be in relationship with us permanently, and he gives us a seal about that permanence. <laughs> he gives us the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit identifies with us that we belong to him, and something happens in us. We, we know, as Oral Roberts used to say, we know in our knower that we are related to God. So I need to ask us a very serious question today. Have you repented of your sin and turned toward God, putting your trust, your faith, your belief in the completed work of Jesus Christ? If not, I invite you to do so right now. It's, it's not that difficult to do. See, you and I can't save ourselves. There's nothing I can do to save myself. No amount of good works can remove the sin from my life. None of those good works, all piled up for 40, 50, 60, 70 years, can ever save me. I am not right in the sight of God, and yes, unless I enter into relationship with God through the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus came to this earth to be a perfect, sinless sacrifice. He never sinned. They crucified him, whipped him. Stripes laid on his back were for our healing. He went to the cross. He died. He was buried. He resurrected from the dead. And he said, if you believe in me, if you trust me, that I will take away your sin and give you the gift of eternal life, then you will receive it. And the proof of it will be a deposit of the Holy Spirit in you. So if you've never done that, if you've never, if you've never repented, that is, told God, I agree with you, that I'm a sinner, and I'm going to turn from that sin, I'm doing an about face, I'm going away from sin, I'm going toward you. If you haven't done that, I invite you to do that right now. Right where you're at, just, just talk to God like you would be talking to me or a good friend and, and tell him that you're in agreement with him, that you're a sinner, that you recognize nothing I can do can save me, but I do believe that what Jesus Christ did can remove all my sin. And so I accept your offer of eternal life. Just do that right now. Just turn to him, repent of your sin, ask forgiveness of your sin, Invite him to be Lord over your life and you will receive, as the scripture says, 2 Corinthians 1 22, who has also sealed us and given us the spirit in our hearts as a deposit. I praise God that you're doing that, that you're asking for forgiveness, you're repenting of your sin and you're turning and trusting and believing in the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, if you've already done it, you've already repented and you've trusted in the Lord Jesus Christ to give you eternal life. <laughs> Can I ask you how much do you realize how much God desires to have this covenant relationship with us? He desires the most powerful and intimate relationship that humankind can experience. Don't put this on the back burner if you've repented. Put it on the front burner. Make this a priority of your life that you want to know God and make him known to others. Let's pray. Father, I pray for anyone who gets to view this video and they, they haven't repented of their sin, that today would be the day of salvation for them. Today would be the day that they, they repent and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And for those who already have, like myself, Lord, I, I pray that the power of this relationship, the intimacy of this relationship will just continue to grow. And we would desire to know you more and to make you no doubters. And I praise you for that in Christ's name. Amen. Grace and peace. Have a marvelous day today.